The Aquarian Gospel of Jesus the Christ full title, The Aquarian Gospel of Jesus the Christ, the philosophic and practical basis of the religion of the Aquarian Age of the World and of the Church Universal is a book by Levi H. Dowling, first published on 1 December 1908. He said he had transcribed the text of the book from the Akashic Records, a purported compendium of mystical knowledge supposedly encoded in a non-physical plane of existence. In the later 20th century, it was adopted by New Age spiritual groups. The title is derived from the practice in astrology of naming time periods in terms of constellations and their dominant positions in the sky, according to the Earth's axial precession. In that system, the age of Aquarius is approaching. <laughs> Topic. Composition Section I Aleph, Birth and Early Life of Mary, Mother of Jesus Section II Beth, Birth and Infancy of John, the Harbinger, and of Jesus Section III Gimel, Education of Mary and Elizabeth in Zone Section IV Daleth, Childhood and Early Education of John the Harbinger Section V He, Childhood and Early Education of Jesus Section V Vow, Life and Works of Jesus in India Section 7 Zane, Life and Works of Jesus in Tibet and Western India Section 8 Cheth, Life and Works of Jesus in Persia Section X Teth, Life and Works of Jesus in Assyria Section X Jod, Life and Works of Jesus in Greece Section 11 Calf, Life and Works of Jesus in Egypt Section 12 Lamed, The Council of the Seven Sages of the World Section 13 Mem, The Ministry of John, the Harbinger Section 14 None, The Christine Ministry of Jesus — Introductory Epic Section 15 Samek, The First Annual Epic of the Christine Ministry of Jesus Section 16 Ain, The Second Annual Epic of the Christine Ministry of Jesus Section 17 Pay, The Third Annual Epic of the Christine Ministry of Jesus Section 18 Tazadi, The Arrest and Betrayal of Jesus Section 19 Kof, The Trial and Execution of Jesus Section XX Resh, The Resurrection of Jesus Section 21 Shin, Materialization of the Spiritual Body of Jesus Section 22 Tao, Establishment of the Christine Church Topic. Major points The Aquarian Gospel makes the following claims, among others The revelation of the Aquarian Gospel was prophesied 2,000 years ago by Elihu, who conducted a school of the prophets in Zon, Egypt. He said thus, This age will comprehend but little of the works of purity and love, but not a word is lost, for in the Book of God's Remembrance a registry is made of every thought and word and deed. And when the world is ready to receive, lo, God will send a messenger to open up the book and copy from its sacred pages all the messages of purity and love. Aquarian Gospel 725-26 There are 18 unknown years of Jesus' life missing in the Bible ages 12 to 30. Like Nicholas Notovich did before in his The Unknown Life of Jesus Christ, by the discoverer of the manuscript 1887, the Aquarian Gospel documents these 18 years as a time when Jesus travels to the centers of wisdom in western India, Tibet, Persia, Assyria, Greece, and Egypt. In each of these capital cities, he is educated, tested, and teaches the religious leaders. Jesus inevitably proves that he is God's chosen one, the Christ, in these locales and brings back this multicultural wisdom and confidence to Galilee and Judea. Jesus puts on the role of the Christ, but is not automatically Christ by nature. By making himself, through desire, effort, ability and prayer, a fit vessel, Jesus enabled the Christ to dwell within him. Christ is therefore used as a term for the seemingly perfect human being that Jesus exemplified, a human being that has been christened, anointed, and therefore made holy. Jesus came to earth to show the way back to God via his lifestyle and teachings. He is the example we must model our own lives after, if we seek salvation. Reincarnation exists and karma, you reap what you sow, is the explanation for various injustices. Reincarnation allows people to settle debts they have incurred in past lives. 
Humanity has forgotten God and is currently working its way back to fully remembering God. Time is separated into ages. These ages last approximately 2,000 years. We are now nearing the start of the Aquarian Age. All souls will eventually mature and evolve towards the perfect, like Jesus the Christ. No soul is ever abandoned by God. The Trinity is strength, love and wisdom. Topic. Difficulties In his 1931 book, Strange New Gospels, the biblical scholar Edgar J. Goodspeed noted, Augustus Caesar reigned and Herod Antipas was ruler in Jerusalem. This opening sentence of the New Gospel does not encourage any very high hopes as to its historical value. It is generally accepted that Antipas never rules in Jerusalem but in Galilee. Of course Dowling means Herod the Great, also, that Dowling has borrowed a number of details from the apocryphal Gospel of James, a work that may not be older than the 5th century, such as details about the childhood of Mary and her marriage to Joseph, the birth of Jesus in a cave, and the account of the death of Zacharias which differs from the account given by Origen and other early fathers. Goodspeed notes that the many ancient religions and philosophies taught, in many different countries, to young Jesus in the book seem colored by Christian science. Eric Paman has pointed out difficulties in Dowling's text. The book depicts Jesus as visiting the cities of Lahore, India pre-partition in India, now in Pakistan, Sri Jagannath in the temple at Puri in Odisha, India, and Persepolis in Persia. Only the temple at Puri existed at that period, Lahore did not exist during the period in question, and Persepolis had already been destroyed by Alexander the Great. The book asserts Jesus had remained in the Jagannatha temple of Puri for four years, preaching among the downtrodden and low caste people. Dowling and Edgar Cayce both claim to have produced an account of the life of Jesus through the transcription of the Akashic records, but there are significant differences between their accounts. Dowling claimed that Jesus knew Meng Zhe of Lhasa, Tibet, but Meng Zhe lived 300 years before Jesus' time. Supporters of Dowling argue that within theosophical thought, figures such as Meng Zhe, Matheno, Miriam, Moses, Elijah, and Vidyapati exist in an ascended state. As such, they communicated with Jesus after they had passed on from earthly existence. Topic: Aquarian Church. The Aquarian Christine Church Universal, Inc. is a denomination based on the Aquarian Gospel. Members are commonly called Aquarians, but the proper term would be Aquarian Christines. The name Christine is used in the Aquarian Gospel instead of Christian, emphasizing that the Church is the Bride of Christ. The Church was incorporated in 2006, but had existed for numerous years previous to incorporation. There are no paid professional clergy. The teachings of the Aquarian Church are based primarily on the Aquarian Gospel, but also on other writings by Levi Dowling, and share many teachings with the I Am Activity I Am Movement and Ascended Master teachings. Some of the teachings include a triune God composed of God the Father, Christ the Son and the Mother Holy Spirit, release from the cycle of rebirth through the ascension process, the equality of the races and sexes and the transformation transmuting of the individual and the world through the study and practice of the teachings, the Moorish Science Temple of America, a religion predominantly adhered to by African Americans, founded five years after the publication of the Aquarian Gospel, takes much of its Holy Quran. From the Aquarian Gospel. Topic. See also Jesuism List of Gospels